What I have here is just a bunch of drain cleaner, and I'm gonna use it to make some nasty soap. To get started, all I need is a beaker, and I'll add about 200 mils of water, along with about 80 grams of the sodium hydroxide drain cleaner. I'll then stir it to help it dissolve, and once I had a nice and clear solution, I temporarily put this beaker to the side. What I have to do next is get a bottle of just regular olive oil, and I'll start pouring it into a much larger beaker. In total, I'll add about 500 grams, and when that's eventually done, I can dump in 100 grams of melted coconut oil. This extra coconut oil isn't absolutely necessary, but it will make the final soap a lot more bubbly, and it'll give it a much better lather. But anyway, what I have now is a nice mixture of olive and coconut oil, and to turn this into soap, I just have to dump in the sodium hydroxide drain cleaner from earlier. The moment that it was added, it started reacting and turning cloudy, but because water and oil don't mix very well, it kind of just sank to the bottom. So I was going to have to help it out a bit, and I carefully lowered in a hand blender. This worked really well to mix everything together, and what I'm trying to do here is a reaction called saponification. The sodium hydroxide is attacking the oils, which normally exist as something called triglycerides, and it's splitting them apart into free fatty acids. These fatty acids then continue reacting, and they're turned into charged salt versions, which is chemically what soap is. But anyway, as this reaction continued, this mixture slowly got thicker and thicker, and when I eventually felt that it was good, I pulled out the hand blender. I then poured some of this soap mixture into a smaller beaker, and on top of it, I shot in some vanilla essential oil. I also felt that I wanted to make it a bit less yellow, so I added a mixture of coconut oil and titanium dioxide. I then mixed it around a bit, and when I felt that it was nice and even, I carefully started pouring it into a mold. At this point, the soap had already thickened quite a bit more, and it wasn't super easy to pour, but I was eventually able to get it all in. I then used a glass rod to get rid of air pockets, and I cleaned it up a bit, and now all I have to do is mix up five more flavors for the other spots. To do this, I just started out with orange, lemon, and celery, and then I went with cookies and cream, and I finished with scatol. But anyway, what I had now was still a bunch of goopy soap, and for it to fully cure into a hard bar, I had to let it sit out for a while. When I came back to it a few weeks later, I was left with some really nice bars. I was honestly really happy with how they all turned out, and my favorite one was definitely the cookies and cream. My least favorite one, though, is probably the poo, and I think I kind of regret making it.